Principle 3. Use pool systems. In traditional manufacturing systems, machines are managed to maximise output. They are run as fast as possible for as long as possible. The term sweat in the assets gives us a visualisation of this kind of operation. They are generally accounts driven and the focus is to gain payback and returns on the investment in the capital equipment. On any other equipment than the bottleneck process, this will only generate inventory. The measurement systems employed judge this to be a good way of operating, since a significant account is put onto the arbitrary value on the work in progress and inventory that are created. This often significantly overinflates the true value. Let us consider an example where a process produces mobile phones with a finished product value of £500. If we have half completed phones in the work in progress, they will be valued at half the value, £250 in this case. So the operation may be assessed as doing just as well, producing twice the amount of phones half finished as the full amount fully finished. This is plainly a nonsense since trying to sell half-finished phones will have insignificant value. This is an example of measurement system failure, where the encouragement is given to practices that may not be in the best long-term interest of the organisation. In this case, it is creating a push system that encourages the generation of inventory. Let's for a moment consider some home purchases we might typically make. When we decide to buy coffee or breakfast cereal, we do it at a time when we are running low and notice we need to replenish just prior to running out. We buy if required and when parts are getting low. We don't buy according to a standard schedule. The same would go for fuel in our car. We fill our cars as we need the fuel. It would be a mistake to dispense the same quantity of fuel to our car each week without any indication of the requirement. The result would be either to overfill and spill or we will be running out of fuel depending on the car usage. We have visual indicators in the car to help us with controlling our fuel requirement. We typically have a needle indicator to show fuel level status and a visual control light to prompt us to action when required. Working to the prompting signals for a refueling is analogous to pool systems in manufacturing. With the development of the Toyota production system, systems were developed to signal demand in the manufacturing. The signals were based on card systems or by using empty parts bins or carts. These systems were called Kanbans. Kanban now generally refers to a signal device of some sort to trigger production to take place in a pool system. As you might expect, computers are now often used for this purpose, but more traditional systems are still employed in some operations. A pool process is a system of manufacturing in which each production process withdraws from the preceding process. In the example here, the customer makes the request drawing parts from process 3, which triggers demand from process 2 down to process 1. A pull process requires trigger signals for control, and this is provided through the application of Kanbans. Consider a supermarket shelf which has products on it with cards attached to each product. When a customer takes a product, they take the card with it. The cards have product identifier details on them relating to the products to which they are attached. When the customer gets the details, the checkout operator takes the card off each of the products. The cards are then sent to the warehouse so a replacement product can be picked to refill the shelves. This means that replenishment of the shelves will not only be timely, but the correct products and quantities will be delivered to the shelving area. This will eliminate waste. If the card system were not used, it would be difficult to determine what was required in the shelving area. Staff would have to be employed to check and make lists. The data would always have inaccuracies because product is constantly being taken off the shelf. Manufacturing Kanbans are used in exactly the same way. It may be cards or empty boxes that are returned upstream to trigger the replenishment downstream. Kanbans were the method developed by Toyota to generate the pool system. As a final note, it's worth mentioning that many supermarkets have now perfected this system with electronic communications and we see supermarkets with hardly any stores area on site. The pool system works so well it's opened the way towards just-in-time deliveries.